Hello, and in this video, we'll see on how to enable out of office using Teams. So, if you have watched my previous video on how to enable out of office through Outlook as well as Teams, considering to that video, it is very simple. And let's dive in on how to enable out of office directly through Teams. Firstly, open your uh, Microsoft Teams, and in the three dots, you can see settings. And if you scroll down in the general section, you can see out of office schedule. And don't panic, uh, sometimes it takes uh, five to six seconds to enable the schedule button. So once it is enabled, click on schedule and click on turn on automatic replies. And just you put your message here, like, hi, I'm on leave. We'll respond back once I'm back. So this might not be an official way of greeting. So prefer your own style of out of office message once you are done you can actually send two different uh, messages to two different organizations let's say you are working for a client and if you want to send a specific message to that clients and different message to your own organization you can put it something like this so if you have external senders you can also put the same or if you want to separate then you need to enable this option. So, uh, and coming to the second option, uh, you can actually put start date and the end date here, considering that. So let's say I'm uh, not available from today to next week, Saturday. And so that's it. And click on save and you can see that out of office will be, uh, okay, I'm getting this error because uh, I don't have the enterprise version of uh, Teams, but I'm using my, schools uh, team so i think it won't be uh, enabled but definitely if you are using enterprise version once you click on save it will enable out of office and that's it guys uh, if you like this video please don't forget to share like and comment below with your new questions and all and don't forget to subscribe thanks for watching